we're here. As this comes in, you hit, you go to here. If I, if I got my hands open like this, now roll this way. That's it. So you take the fingers. Oh, so it all depends on, you yeah. know. How I grab. If I grab like this, I lock on, you're not going to bend my wrist. So you grab on, pull under, and rotate around this way, and that's what bends the wrist. If my hands open like this, you can tack the fingers and bend them back. Okay? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> or if my hand's really open, if I'm just like this, slap the hand off and hit me, which is the easiest right. thing to do. Move back that way. Okay? Uh, move back. There we go. So, so I come here. in here. Here. So I get to that there. Now, don't even bother with, with slap it off and hit it. Okay? So when you would, when you do this. When I do that. Oh, or, wait a minute. You just go here. Yeah, here. You just hit. Just hit whatever. Yeah. Absolutely. Fist or? Well, back hit with, with the back knuckle here. Oh. Yeah. You're just sitting here, but remember, I mean, uh, let's say that we're here like this, right? Move back. There we go. Let's say that we're here like this. If I come in and I go here, right, and you just you just have this open, I slap, I hit here, so you, then that'd be the next shot. I, I mean, you see what I mean? I could close. I use this as a distraction, as something to get so your head go that way. Then come in here, right? You know, so. This just occurred to me, but if we're here like this, right, I come in, you hit. So you want me to do this? So yeah, you hit like that, I come in, I hit you here, I go this way, elbow, here's the other shot. To, to, to basically turn your head, you, you know, mm -hmm. this motion here, that, here, elbow. Then hit. Yeah, that's a good one. You know, just to just to get you off balance and to yeah, to not get when you went there, I was, yeah. I'm going back. Especially if it's up here to the side of the neck. Yeah, like that. Okay, so try that. Okay, so I come in here. here. Right. I'm here. Here, knock this Slap away. Slap that and hit. Now push against my head this way. Turn it. And down and set. Elbow, that's it. Okay, so here I am. Do I, I shuffle in? There you go. Now, extend out and, and knock me this way. Just go here. Right, see, that's going to take me as a, as a push that, that gets me out of the way. Okay? Mm -hmm. Good. So, um, so that's some different variations of this particular technique, of that concept. Okay, so we have, once again, if we're up here like this, and you basically attack, and I clamp. This is when you come up, grab here, not, not right at my, you don't want to support my wrist here, okay. but you want to be right underneath it. Mm -hmm. And from here, rotate this up and twist and down, and that'll strip. Here's your back fist, right here, mm -hmm. okay? And again, so you're kind of keeping with that same kind of structure that we're here, and you come in, and I grab here, and that comes over, and there you go. Okay, so if we're here like this, and and say that say that I'm like here, this is more vertical, then again you do the same thing, just kind of push this way and that way. There you go, like here. So now this stays on top and you get a bent wrist slot this way. So again, come down, which breaks my bounce, and you smack me in the head. Okay? So we're here like this. As you come in, I grab on immediately there and down. And then um, going back to what we were what I just showed here before with Scott. Um, we uh, I try and teach the different variations because it depends upon how he grabs me and this has to be trained for. Repetition over and over and over again and build up in the curriculum, which we do in our, in our modern artists uh, curriculum. And <clears throat> um, because we're constantly 
grabbing the sticks differently or whatever like this, you know, for these different disarms. So now we'll take a look at it is what happens if as he crashes in to me, um, he has a knife and I go to defend him. So if Scott has a knife like this, and this is obviously, um, you know, Scott being, being the aggressor and such like this, and, and the idea is he's got a counter, my counter to, to his, you know, to his defense. So if you're holding this in a sense in what we call ice pick grip, the blade out and things like this, for somebody coming in with this type of a move or that kind of an application, this would be what um, this would be how you handle it. It would not necessarily be this, because then I'm hammering with the puño, not with the tip of the blade. So if he's got his like this and he crashes, you crash with your with your other hand and then thrust up here to the head. Like here, and I come in like this. See this here too would be when he might bring his hand on up here. I've grabbed, now I grab. Because if we're here like this, go back. Um, yeah, okay. So we're here like this. As he comes in, if I do this, I've done nothing to stop this blade. He just has to parry that out and, and, and kill me. Likewise, if, if we're here like this and he, he's here like it, all he has to do here is just lift his elbow up. Like here, and he just pumps it down and he gets me that way, okay? So if I'm here like this with Scott, it'll be easier if I if yeah. I describe. I come in here and I'm going like this with Scott. If Scott locks with his hand out open, I don't need to do any kind of locking. Just from here, you got the knife. If, if we're in here like this, I crash, I come in here like this, I can just bring that down and come in. He's done nothing to really stop my knife by blocking out empty hand or like palm open which we can do when we're empty hand but with any kind of a weapon that's nuts so he's gonna grab on okay he should grab on he should try and control that weapon hand so as we come in here and he grabs now this is a different story I can roll this over and bring it in which is what I would probably do because I'm still controlling this hand I could reach up here, grab this, bring him down, and then get him. <clears throat> but the easiest thing to do is this motion. And again, I end up like there, okay? But I'm just trying to show how you can apply the same thing here to a knife. We can do it this way, like I'm coming in for a slash, you can bring it out and then cut. We can be in here like this, and I, I can come in here, I can bring this down and then stab. You know, so I can do those, those variations, but it just helps to do this. 